Uh, first of all, we have with us Mazda Canada's president um, and chief marketing officer for all of North America, Don Romano. From the Mazda US Motorsports team, we have with us John Dunan, who's director of motorsports. <clears throat> to his right, we have with us James Jordan, who is in charge of motorsports marketing in the US. <clears throat> Beside him is Dean Case, in charge of motorsports public relations in the US. <clears throat> and we have Jim Bowie from Brand Adrenaline down at the end. <clears throat> so immediately following our announcement, we'll open it up for a Q&A session. Um, and then if anybody wants to talk further or needs a press kit, uh, we invite you to come back to our booth, which, which is just on the other side of that wall. So now we'll get started, and I'll invite Don Romano up. All right, good afternoon. All right, that's better. My name is Don Romano, president of Mazda Canada. And, you know, our company, as you know, is a different kind of company. Really, it goes back to the days where we actually created and marketed a rotary engine when nobody else would touch it. In 1991, we decided, hey, wouldn't it be great if we went to Le Mans? But wouldn't it be better if we won it? Where, as of today, we are still the only Japanese manufacturer that has gone to Le Mans and won it. And really, all these things come back to one thing in our company that we rely on day in and day out when we build our cars and that is a culture of motorsports. Goes all the way back to the halls of Hiroshima where our engineers don't just design, they don't just engineer and build, but they race our cars day in and day out. Our headquarters in North America, down in California, same situation. These individuals sitting next to me don't just participate in events like this, but they get out on the track and they race on weekends. Mazda understands racing, so much so that there is a little bit of race car in every car we build and engineer. And that's why more people in America race Mazdas than any other car out there. But the fact is we need to bring that up to Canada. And we've been thinking long and hard about just how we would do that. How would we get the enthusiasm and excitement that we've enjoyed down in the States, up here where it belongs? And with the help of John Doonan, Jim Jordan, and the entire team here, we've come up with a way, and we're pleased to announce today that we will be contingency partners with the CTCC in the B-Spec series. We will also continue to work hard in other areas, including the Toyo Tire Spec Miata racing. And this is really, hopefully, just the beginning. Because we're going to get asked a lot of questions about, well, why aren't you involved in other race series? Well, that would give us something to talk about, hopefully, next year as well. But this is just our, our first step into getting more active into the grassroots racing community of Canada and bringing to them some excitement and some reward money that they, uh, they so much deserve. To talk more about that, it's now my pleasure to turn this over to John Doonan, our Director of Motorsports. Thank you. Thanks, Don. You know, our job, Jim and Dean and I, is to go out and facilitate our motorsport programs. But when you have the kind of energy and support that we have from our executive team, both here in Canada, back in uh, Irvine and California, our jobs end up being, being pretty easy. Because they do believe in the heritage and the thread of what motorsport means to our brand and what it does to all of you who are so loyal uh, to racing our products. So it makes our job real easy to go out and facilitate these programs when we have that kind of support uh, from the highest levels of the company. So we're very proud of that. Uh, as Don said, uh, we are dipping our toe in the water, if you will, here in, in Mazda Canada with several different layers of programs uh, for 2012. 
And in the U.S., as we talked with a group at Mostport, and Jim had a group in Montreal and Trois-Rivières, our program in the U.S. has taken roughly 20 years to build, over 20 years of selling competition parts to dedicated racers, providing contingency, and then growing ourselves into some of the upper levels of motorsport, like the American Le Mans series and Grand Am and those types of things. So it, it does take time. As you all know, motorsports takes two things, time and money. And uh, it's taken us time. But with, with Sandra's help, Heather from the marketing team, and certainly Jim Bowie on the end, um, one of our favorite folks in motorsport marketing, uh, we're gonna build a program, we're gonna get involved. Um, the pinnacle of that will be supporting several classes in the CTCC, John Vondar's group. We're very proud of what he's done here. Uh, one of those key pieces is B-Spec. Uh, Jim, Dean, and I are particularly proud of B-Spec. It was a challenge, actually, from Don and the other executives when the Mazda 2 came to market. What are we gonna do to race it? You know, when you have executives asking you that question, that's pretty special. Chief Financial Officer says, what are we gonna do to, to do more of this? So B-Spec started out in the halls of Mazda, then we called our friends at, at Honda and said, come along, and our friends at Ford Racing, and our friends at Kia, and our friends at Mini Cooper. So all these brands have now come together to allow us to showcase our product on the racetrack head to head. So we're really proud of that. We've got more information about our B-Spec kit uh, over in our display. Uh, we've got a sample of the Mazda 2, and from what we hear from John, there's uh, significant interest around B-Spec here in, in Canada, so we're really proud of that. Biggest spec class in the world, Spec Miata. We couldn't overlook Spec Miata, and so we're proud of the uh, support that we're gonna provide to the Toyo Tires Spec Miata Championship. What a great car, best-selling two-seat sports car ever in the history of the, of the globe, the galaxy, as we said. Um, so we're really, really proud of that. It's a great class. Um, several folks are already running Spec Miata up here, uh, but that's gonna continue to grow. And something, actually, that we all just decided on yesterday, which we're extremely proud of, and this goes back again to our executives. In 2007, Mazda announced the very first fully integrated, industry first, no other car maker's ever done it, a career ladder program for drivers. And we have several young drivers out here who are involved in formula car racing or in karting. We now have an opportunity for drivers to go from karting to the highest levels of open wheel racing, the Indianapolis 500, through the Mazda Road to Indy on the open wheel side. James Hinchcliffe will be here tomorrow. He's one of our kids. You know, we, we watched James grow. Uh, Ian Willis in the crowd. He's had a fantastic team of growing young drivers through open wheel. On the closed wheel side, now we're gonna be able to involve Mazda Canada in that as well. Uh, in our shootout, we call it, for grassroots racers, there will now be at least one representative from Canada entering our shootout from the Toyo Tire Spec Miata Championship. And if someone is able to win the CTCC B-Spec Championship in a Mazda, they too will go come to North America and be part of our shootout for a full season in the Playboy MX-5 Cup in 2013. We're very excited about that. So I'll turn it over to Jim. Jim works in the marketing team uh, officially, but we spend a lot of weekends together. I actually spend more weekends together with Jim than my wife. Um, but we, we have a lot of fun together. Uh, and at the end of the day, it is hard work. All of you in motorsport know we're not on a vacation every weekend, uh, but we're very proud of what we've been able to grow so far, and we're very pleased to bring Mazda Canada into the fold. Jim? Thank you. Just want to say that the motorsports ladder is something that's always been really important and critical to Mazda. And our executives, Don Romano and the executives down in Irvine, have kept asking us, how can we get Canada involved in the ladder? And it's just really exciting to us that we finally found a way and uh, that we will have at least one Canadian, possibly two Canadian drivers in our ladder shootout next year. And uh, again, Don, great credit to Don and his team for continuing to remind us that it was an important thing to have happen for Mazda, the good of Mazda overall. 
And uh, also just want to say that we're really thrilled. We've said it before, but we're very excited about the whole um, um, Canadian Car Championship, Touring Car Championship, and to be a part of that. Um, watching that series grow. Um, what I tell young racers and the young racers in the room, Mazda is either the best car company or the worst car company to be involved with. Um, for most racers, we're the best because we truly are enthusiasts. And uh, so I've watched the Canadian Touring Car Championship grow when I'm at the races, when I'm at uh, Montreal for the Grand Am race or Three Rivers, just because it's the greatest racing event in North America to go to. Um, so I've watched the series grow and it's just great to see it get to the level and uh, just to be a part of it with our contingency program. John didn't spell it out. We will have handouts on what the contingency program is. But Mazda is going to pay prize money to Mazda racers in all three classes. So whether it's Super Touring, Touring, or B-Spec, we're paying money in all the classes to encourage people to race our products and to have fun with Mazda. So again, we're thrilled to be here, thrilled to uh, see the enthusiasm for both Mazda and our whole ladder here in Canada. So uh, thanks for having us. Dean, do you have any more comments? Uh, well, I was just, my job is to keep these guys on track. And why don't you read off the prize money, John? Because it's some substantial uh, money that we'll be awarding. And also, for those of you in the crowd, if you don't hear the particular category or class or sanctioning group that you're currently involved in, with or your racing club, now is your opportunity to, to organize and gather momentum. Uh, Jim Bowie, a uh, dear friend of ours, and he has a, a lot of reason why this is structured the way it is, is because Jim spent time over the last several months calling every club across Canada uh, to talk about Mazda's involvement and understand what, what the racing is. But for the Canadian Touring Car Championship uh, in the Super Touring class, uh, per race contingency, uh, podium finishers, first place 1,500, second place 1,000, third place 500. In the Touring category, $1,000 to win, 750 for second and 500 for third. And in the B-Spec category, 500 for a race win, 300 for second, and 150 for third. There will also be year-end overall contingency payouts. A first place of 10,000, second place 3,000, and 2,000 for third in the Super Touring. For Touring, 6,000, 3,000, 1,000. And then in B-Spec, $5,000 to win, second, 2,000, and third place, 1,000. That's pretty strong uh, if you add up your entry fees and, and all the expenses to get to the racetrack. Then in the uh, Toyo Tire Spec Miata Championship, a per race contingency, 200 to win, second place 100, third place 75, then overall championship contingency payout, first place 2,000, second place 1,000, and third place 375. So. I think the guys in the U.S. only get 375 to win, so that's pretty good, pretty good dollars. Um, but again, you know, the, the competition parts business is really our foundation. You'll see us in ALMS, you'll see us in Grand Am, you, you know our history, as Don said, at Lamar, but grassroots racing is our foundation. We have a bottom-up strategy. You don't see us pouring a bunch of money in at the top. It's the bottom-up that means the most to us. It's the dedicated, loyal customers. You're our brand advocates. We love that you race our products on the weekends. We also need your help during the week. CX-9, CX-7, the all new CX-5 that's gonna be hitting the marketplace. Best darn vehicles on the road, and as Don said, there's a little bit of a race car in every single thing we build. John, you wanna tell them the value on the club race or shootout if they get the winner of that who moves up to the pro level? Yeah, so as we pointed out, there'll be at least one, hopefully two candidates from Canada coming to the shootout. The prize is a full season in the MX-5 Cup Championship in the U.S., uh, which also visit, visits uh, Canada. Uh, $75,000 prize um, running with any of the top teams uh, in that series. We'll be at most port in July with that series in 2012. So John, I don't know, if I were a young racer out there thinking about running B-Spec this year, if I ran a Mazda and won the championship, it'd be $5,000 championship plus an opportunity to shoot out. So it could be up to $80,000 in value. Is that what you're telling me, John? That, that is what I'm telling you, Jim. 
And then if you know you want to run Spec Miata, you could double your chances. You could go up to Nova Scotia and run Spec Miata. The other thing, uh, at 3.15, we're going to be giving our business seminar. This is something that we've done in the past few years. Some of you are familiar with PRI down in Orlando. Uh, one of the components of the shootout is a business presentation. And we find that a lot of drivers, the stumbling block of moving up is not their talent on the track. It's understanding the business uh, structure of the sport. And we have a seminar we put together, very informal, very uh, interactive with the group. And we talk about business marketing PR 101 for racers. So that'll be at 315 in the seminar room. So if you'd like to ask any questions there one-on-one, -on -one, please come to that. But I think if there's any questions for particularly John and Don, I mean, I think it's pretty significant that we have the president of Mazda Canada here. Uh, this is not a low-level decision to make these uh, involvements. Thank you. Questions? Yes. Thank you very much. We have a little joke at Mazda that um, most car companies go racing to help sell cars. We actually sell cars to afford to be able to go racing, but when you got the kind of support that we do have from the top levels of the company, um, it, it's a big deal, and so uh, to have Don here in person is very special. Uh, just a few weeks ago, Don at the Rolex 24, our president and CEO of Mazda North America, Jim O'Sullivan, flew directly from meetings in Japan to attend that race. Um, so at the highest levels, you have that kind of support. And it's not just going out on the weekends and burning tires and burning gas. It is truly what Don said. It is to prove the quality and durability and reliability of our products. B-Spec, those are stock engines. The Formula 2000 series, those are stock Miata engines, essentially, our four-cylinder engine. Car that won the championship last year in the USF 2000 championship, 6,650 racing miles on it, never out of the car, never rebuilt, and that car won the championship two seasons running. So that's what this is all about. It's to prove that the vehicles we build on the street are of that level of quality that can be raced. So thank you. John, let's uh, let Jim comment a little bit for those who are racing in series other than we've mentioned, how to take it up for 2013. Yeah, can everyone hear me? Yeah, for those of you here that are racing a Mazda that aren't racing in the Canadian Touring Car Championship or you're not racing in uh, the Toyo Tires uh, Spec Miata Championship, what we're going to be asking you to do is to register yourself and your car with Mazda Canada. There will be instruction coming out on, on how to do that. Uh, that will be coming from Sanders Group. And then we're going to compile that data throughout this year and uh, be announcing more programs starting 2013 for people racing and stuff like ice racing, uh, even drifting, club racing. If you're racing a Mazda, we're going to look at it and uh, try to build you a program. <laughs>